make sure you subscribe click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos support us on patreon like us on facebook and instagram at model railroad techniques please have a look at my new website www.modelrailroadtechniques.com okay today i've got a, a new little today i've got some new materials now you may or may not know that i did a, a video uh, quite a number of months ago on how to make your own corrugated iron and weathering it um, a gentleman on Facebook came forward to me and asked me had I seen his product so I had not so I actually ended up bought, buying some of this NSJ models um, which is a, a Hungarian company so a young lad by the name of Josef is the proprietor of the company so let's open up the little box and have a look so I bought approximately 20 sheets of corrugated iron. So from Josef, he said that the sheets are made out of 0.1 millimeter or 0.004 inch copper or 0.02 millimeter or 0.008 of an inch aluminium sheets. So they measure about 1.8 centimeters by 10 or four by three quarters of an inch. So as you can see, they're lovely little flutes for this is the, the HO version. So my understanding, we're looking at a bit under two millimeters between the, 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 um, the flutes. So these uh, came today in the mail. Uh, they cost about 20 Australian dollars for, for that many sheets, including um, postage from Hungary. Took a few weeks to get here, uh, but I'm at this point in time, I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, with the quality of them, that's for sure. They're beautiful little sheets, and I'm in the process of doing a my first scratch build, so I will probably use them in there. So we'll get her on something similar to that. It appears that these sheets you probably could score with a, a razor blade. Um, I would probably think that it'd go blunt obviously very very quickly but um, I don't think you'd want to use anything that's like uh, scissors or something similar or sort of even tin snip top or small small snips like that I just think that it will damage the, the corrugated iron too easily so he's also sent a few of these other little ones in here so with a sheet that size I, I can see you it can be quite quite flexible in how you do it so so these sheets here are probably more the size of the sheets that you would that you would cut them. So to give you some sort of idea how that is, 1.3 centimeters, or half an inch wide by 1. Point, uh, just a shade under three quarters of an inch long. So I could sort of see that you would uh, set your your shed up something similar to that, or your roof, and then you'd sort of overlap them like so. Imagine that being down that like that. If you can see that with my get my fingers out of the way. Obviously not that colour, but I think you get the picture. Alright, so what I will try to do, I'll show you how to cut it. So I've just got one of these smaller sheets and a big one laid over the top. Just gives me sort of a guide where I'm cutting. So I'm just gonna lay it that like that. And I'm just gonna run So, yeah, as I said, you will dull a blade very, very quickly. Um, I'll have to find maybe other alternatives to, to cut them, but two or three passes, and it does go through reasonably easily. Um, so, yeah, so you can see the height of that sheet compared to a HO person. So if you wanted to make a, a galvanized iron, person's just a little bit taller than that sheet. Alright, it's very hard to get that the correct angle. So he he does have uh, different versions. He's got the one to one to 160 scale and one to 120 scale. So the the sheets that they come in are either 1.8 centimeters by 10 centimeters, 28 one point sorry 2.8 centimeters by one 
10 centimeters and 10 centimeters by 9.8 and a half. So um, I'll put the, the, the Imperial versions um, up in the cards below or something similar. So he does have a website. Um, this is not a paid advertisement. I did actually pay for these, these items, but um, obviously I've got a little bit friendly with him over the, the, the last few months when uh, since I've done that video, just talking about his products and the like. So uh, go and check it out. It's uh, www.nsjmodels, with two L's, dot H-U, which is for the Hungarian suffix. So as you can see, he uh, has different types of uh, modeling funiculars or fine scale stuff there, wooden piles, pallets, corrugated iron for, for the sheds and the like so have a good look at the uh, the website i have and it's a lovely little site it does have english german and hungarian translations so that's the end of this video and uh, thanks for watching see you next time make sure you subscribe click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos support us on patreon like us on facebook and instagram at model railroad techniques